A research guide collecting many useful resources has been created for your Environmental Studies 240 course. This short video shows how to access the Water and Watersheds guide and highlights several of the guide's key elements. Starting from the Bates Library homepage, select the Research Guides button to open the Research Guides search box. In the search box, enter the course information ENVR240, then select the green magnifying glass to the right to complete your search. From the resulting search page, select the ENVR240 Water and Watersheds link. This brings you to the guide for this course. This Water and Watersheds guide collects a large number of resources you will probably find helpful for your course projects and is divided into three major sections, research tools, citing sources, and a getting started guide for the EndNote citation management software. The Research Tools tab contains tools for keyword, phrase, and title searching, as well as a carefully selected collection of books, journals, and online resources. The four general search tools located on the guide's left include Scopus, which is great for searching peer-reviewed primary literature from STEM and social science fields, the Bates Library Search Plus tool, which is a Google-like discovery tool that searches more than 95% of the library resources available at Bates, the Advanced Google Search, which can be very useful for finding governmental reports, materials from non-governmental organizations and professional societies, and the Bates Library Catalog, CBBCAT, which you will find particularly helpful for finding and requesting books. Tabs for links to books, journals, and online resources are located in the main panel of the Research Tools page. Of particular interest in the Books tab are several reference books, including the Encyclopedia of Lakes and Reservoirs and the Oxford Handbook of Water Politics and Policy. Note that these are just two examples of the hundreds of books related to water and watersheds available at Bates and discoverable using either CBBCAT or Library Search Plus. A fair amount of time has been invested by your professor and your research librarian to build four lists of journals you might find useful as you research source material for your project. The Tier 1, Tier 2, and Tier 3 tabs contain lists of peer-reviewed journals available to you at Bates. We have also collected a short list of non-peer-reviewed journals that you might find useful. You'll find that the journals listed in the Tier 1 tab are probably highly applicable to your project. Most of the topics covered in these journals describe research directly relevant to water and watersheds. The content and journals listed in Tier 2 are typically more general, but frequently contain aquatic research. Tier 3 journals contain content that is either broader or more ecological in coverage than the Tier 1 or Tier 2 journals. However, they might contain articles relevant to your project. The non-reviewed journal list contains journals that are not reviewed to the same extent as those on the Tier 1, Tier 2, or Tier 3 lists. However, they might contain articles relevant to your Water and Watersheds research project. Of particular interest, usefulness, and a real Easter egg for those of you who've managed to stay through the first three minutes of this video are the links provided on the Online Resources tab. The first section lists sites within the United States Geological Survey. Focusing on data portals dealing with water and watersheds as well as the USGS Publications Warehouse. The data portals list contains more than 15 relevant USGS hydrological data portals. Highlights include USGS Hydrologic Information and Data for Maine, the USGS Groundwater and Stream Flow Information Program, Water Data for the Nation, Water Quality Data for the Nation, and Historical Water Use Data. The USGS Publications section contains a link to the USGS Publications Warehouse, along with tips for starting your exploration of the warehouse and a few examples of the kinds of things you can find. This is a truly enormous collection of freely available USGS documents, and there's almost certainly something relevant here for you. The online resources list also includes useful links to the United States Environmental Protection Agency, the United States Army Corps of Engineers, and the U.S. Governmental Printing Office website. Lastly, this list contains links to several important and potentially useful non-governmental organizations, such as the Global Lake Ecological Observatory Network, the Lakes of Maine website, a guide to the Walter Lawrence papers detailing his work measuring water quality of the Androscoggin River from 1938 to 1983, Hydrosheds, which is a list of water and watershed-related geo-reference data sets, 
and Watershed Asia, an organization concerned with effective, affordable water and sanitation products for Cambodia, Laos, and Vietnam. As noted previously, this guide also contains information for citing your sources and several common citation styles, as well as information for downloading and using the citation management software EndNote. EndNote makes saving your citation information a simple part of your research process. It also takes a lot of the headache out of formatting your citations in your papers. This is especially true if you're not using one of the four or five major citation styles. If you have any questions about citation formatting, or how to download and use EndNote, please see your research librarian. We are happy to help. Thanks for listening.